And those four boys already freed from the cave are being treated by doctors right now. Carried out by stretcher, airlifted, the ambulances then racing. You can see them there one by one to the hospital. The task now is to make sure those who have been freed get the help they need. ABC's Adrian Bankard is at the hospital tonight. Tonight, Thai authorities race to provide medical treatment to those first boys pulled out alive. We're seeing police come through here. We've already seen one ambulance through. A couple more police vehicles right now. The four arriving at the hospital with a military escort. Now inside this hospital with a floor dedicated to treatment away from the cave they spent more than two weeks inside. How many of you? 13. Brilliant. The boys found nearly huddled together, surrounded by murky waters in complete darkness for 10 days before the first divers reached them. Since then, rescuers have been desperately working to get them food, water, and medical supplies, trying to build back their strength as they prepared for the audacious rescue. The boys given blankets to combat hypothermia, rescuers administering iodine to their various cuts and scrapes to prevent infection. To be without food and a lot of water for nine days uh, makes you pretty weak. So it's a, a period of, of deconditioning which the boys uh, need to overcome. Oxygen levels inside that cave a dangerously low 17 percent. The risk of the remaining boys developing hypoxia, a condition brought on by low oxygen that could cause brain damage, all too real. The road to recovery, a long one for the four now at the hospital. Making sure the remaining inside are strong enough, the top priority before they embark on their dangerous dive out. And Adrian Banker joins us now live outside that hospital where those boys are being treated. Adrian, we're getting new details about how the boys are being cared for and the extensive medical evaluations. Yes, uh, doctors likely say they will be tested for any number of infections, including cave disease, which affects the lungs. They'll also be uh, treated and tested for any mental or emotional issues, including PTSD. Tom. Adrian Banker for us tonight. Adrian, thank you.